Hey guys, this is me, Jack Adams. Sorry I've been uh, MIA for a little bit, but I've been working out and getting back in truck. Before my little accident, I don't know if I showed you, but this is what less of it. It was all of this. So it was the big scrape was like this big. And that was tiny. And it was both arms, but this one was less severe, so this one recuperated really easily. I landed in my hand. And that's why it hurts. But I was working out today. You probably saw it on my Facebook. And that happened. That thing popped. I just like had to take it off. So anyway, um <clears throat> lately my boyfriend has been visiting me, which is great. And then he likes to do this thing when um I like to wait for him with him at the bus stop. And I'm like, okay, I know what he's gonna do. He likes to like kiss me goodbye. It doesn't, it's not one because like multiple kisses and it becomes like a make out section almost. And I usually don't like doing that because, you know, I don't want him to be haze or anything. <clears throat> and then usually like the way I dress is very, very manly. And so, so does he, but, you know, it's a little bit different because he's more like, hi, ah, how's it going? And I'm more like, so, that's it. You can't even tell that I'm gay. Not that I'm saying that I, there's anything wrong with that. It's just that. I am very, very, very comfortable doing that, according to how I look. <clears throat> My boyfriend, on the other hand, is, is very, very different. Um, I don't know if that happened just because he's dating me, or is that that's, always, that's how the way he's always been, or I don't know. I still haven't asked him yet. But um, every time, you know, we do that, I'm like, okay. Like, he tries to pull me, like, one more kiss, and I'm like, I have to go, I have to go. Your bus is leaving. And, and he's like, okay, so I, you know, I kiss him and everything, and I just walk home. And there's people, you know, they saw me, what I'm doing, and I'm like, like I don't give a shit. If anything, I started walking a little tougher, like, like that, like, because usually I just walk like I don't, like nothing, I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, my own business, right? But as soon as I, I tell my boyfriend goodbye, kiss him goodbye and everything, I'm like, like, don't fucking mess with me if kids you want to do something. Like, I, in my head, like, is in store that from every family member that I have, they're like, oh, they're going to beat you up, they're going to do something like that. So I just pay a little bit of attention because it doesn't hurt to be safe, for sure. Uh, but there's that. And then yesterday I was um, I was walking to the Salvation Army, and I had, like, I had my, I always wear a hat, but I never wear it like this because this is swaglicious, I guess. I hardly wear them like that, so I just wear them like uh, uh, I just wear them like this, and then I'm walking. I'm usually just wearing like a cutout shirt, like with no sleeves and some like ripped shorts and or shorts in general. And I was wear I was carrying my like the stuff that I'm gonna donate in this bag, the um, Urban Outfitters bag, and I was with my headphones, and then wearing my Toms, and I was like this, carrying the bag like this, right? And I'm like whatever, right? Normally I will carry a bag like, like you know, like sideways like a messenger bag, because it was kind of, kind of girly looking I guess. You know, walking like this, and you should have seen how many people were just staring at me, and and they were staring at me modestly because I wasn't wearing glass sunglasses, and I was I told myself, do not wear sunglasses because that's your way of hiding. <clears throat> so don't wear sunglasses. So I I wasn't wearing sunglasses because I wanted to see people's reactions, and I was like. And I'm seeing it, and then as, I, as I'm about to cross the street while um to go to the Salvation Army, like um I guess like people were like were murmuring stuff, and I was like, hmm, it's hot. People were like murmuring stuff, and I was like just paying attention. And then in front of me there was this like, um, like this greaser kind of punker kid, who just looked at me, and he's like, hmm, that's curious. Like, uh, maybe he recognized me because I usually were in the same scene or anything. He didn't say anything because, like, a lot of people, like, especially the punks and the greasers, and they know me already. They, they see me somewhere. And they're like, oh, that's uh, that one dude. And then, you know, nothing but that happens. But, you know, like, other people who I hardly see, they're like, what the fuck? Hmm. And, you know, it's, main, it's mainly, like, old grown up -y people. They look like, huh, oh, that's weird. But they don't say anything because... My the way I look is like very manly, very mean. And then yesterday, um, there was no there was no altercation. It's just that my brother left his 
something in the, something in the bench. I didn't know for sure if it was his or the guy standing next to it, and I was like, hmm. So I didn't grab it. Then I went back, and the guy looked at me, and he was kind of scared, and I was like, <laughs> you're with your brothers. I'm not even going to cause a confrontation. I'm a very non-confrontational person. And yeah, bottom line, I bitched out, but I'm not going to fight there when there's like too many heads. And my brother went back for it too, and then he, same thing, he just saw too many heads. But he, because of too many heads, I, because I just literally just bitched out, I don't want no confrontation. Anyway, um, I just wanted to talk about that. I mean, I just felt kind of like a hero in a way, about the whole bag thing and everything with my boyfriend, because, um, I don't know, like, to me, the stigma, like, you immediately going to get shot at or something like that, because that's what my brothers and some of my family members made it out to be, and I'm like, no, no, it does not happening to me, especially the way I look. And for a minute, I was like, um, what if I were one of those gay guys, like, like my boyfriend was more like, hi, how's it going, what's up? He doesn't talk like that, but he, he does have a high picture voice than me, and he does a lot of jazz hands, and I don't. And my ex, too, he did a little bit of jazz, and he would go, my boyfriend, he goes, you know, which I don't mind, because that's the way he is, but I'm just not like that. I deviated from being that, because um, I like knowing that I, because I know that I'm, this sounds so mean, no, no, I'm going to go ahead and say, I know I'm a man, and I'm comfortable being a man, I just like I'm a manly, manly gay guy. There you go. I said it. Hopefully, they don't offend anyone. Uh, anyway, um, Doma or Domo? Not Domo. That's the character. Doma. Something disappeared. So, I guess, like, gay people can marry down in California. Anyway, guys, bye.